Hey everyone, Gil at CloseCallSports.com. We were asked about failing to touch a base appeals. Watch this. Fair. It is gone and hit the pole. An opposite field home run for Key Brian Hayes. Keep doing it. So on this play, we are going to go straight to the rule book. There is a section called General Instruction to Umpires. It's in Rule 800, and it states, keep your eye everlastingly on a ball while it is in play. It is more vital to know just where a fly ball fell or a thrown ball finished up than whether or not a runner missed a base. And on this play, it's such a close play down the right field line at the base of the foul pole that that is of tantamount importance. The issue of the runner can wait. And while that ball is in flight, that's when the runner's booking it around first base, but the umpires are watching the play in deep right field. First base umpire booking down the line, home plate umpire providing secondary enforcement. And if you're wondering about the coloring scheme of the foul pole, why is it painted black at the bottom? We did this back in 2013. We covered it on our site. So visit us at closecallsports.com, linked in the description, to read more about this unique property of a lot of MLB ballparks where they paint the pole black at the bottom. There's a reason for it. They're going to challenge something or ask for... You might think, why do umpires need to look at this? Why does the plate umpire also need to look at it along with the first base umpire? And the answer is from the field of play, it might look like everything is stacked up, but there's depth to it. So it's just about your angle. Runner clearly misses the base. Defense doesn't appeal. It's not the first base umpire who is down the right field line. It's the plate umpire who would have this call. Plate umpire didn't see it because the plate umpire was watching the ball. So then that's why we go to review on this play. To me, I mean, anybody would so unbelievably aggressive stage manager. <laughs> what? Called a foul? Yes, that's exactly right. It was a foul ball. No, it was an out at first. Anyway, here's a compare and contrast with the minor leagues. This is going to be another miss base appeal. Notice that that's clearly a home run, clearly in fair territory. You don't need multiple eyes on this. Plus, the appeal is going to occur at home plate. This is well after the ball has left the field, so you can have eyes on the base touch. Watch the plate umpire's eyes. They're looking directly at the plate. Look at the catcher, too. The catcher was looking, and they talked to the umpire like, hey, he missed it. So they both noticed something. Plate umpire obviously can't give, a, give away, so they can't really answer that question. But the, watch this replay again, and watch as we speed it up a little bit. Watch the runner, and try to figure out, are they really making sure that they touched home plate? They looked down, but did they actually touch it? They're jumping around. Did they jump over home plate? And this is a terrible angle to figure that out. When you kick dirt on home plate from, without actually touching it from the left and the right, that can happen. So there was a question, why did the umpire clean the plate if they didn't touch the plate? And it's like, well, have you ever been around home plate? You can track dirt on that just by kicking it without actually touching the plate. Anyway, here's the Twitter. Player says they touched it. Well, why would a player ever admit they didn't? The still photo shows nothing conclusive other than the player being in the air and not touching anything. There's the appeal play properly executed. I don't know if the call was proper. I would assume so because the umpire had an out, the catcher had an out, and the batter didn't really stick around to find out other than being out. Here comes the manager. The umpire will explain it. There will be no ejections as a result. The manager just gets to say their piece as it were, and then they'll walk back to third base. Furious for the Naturals. It looked like they just threw the ball in for a second and then... I hate to break away from this Emmy Award-winning broadcast, but we need to look at the importance of base touching. I have an example from the Major League level. Do you remember back in 2012 when Michael Morse hit a grand slam to right field in St. Louis? Except it wasn't called that way on the field, so Jeff Nelson was booking it over and called him out on a tag getting back to first base. But that is a home run. That left the playing field. This was back in pre-replay, so they had to do the replay reviews from the umpire's clubhouse, so they came through the dugout. Anyway, Nelson says it's a home run. We're going to... Wait, wait. We need to do this right. So they sent Morse back to touch all of the bases and then Morse went all the way back to home plate and reenacted his swing kind of and he touched all bases as a runner uh, on a home run it's a dead ball you can do this if you are not sure that you touched all the bases 
you can take your time to make sure you did, and it prevents weirdo appeals like we saw in Pittsburgh or in the minors or anywhere else because it's going to happen again. Unbelievably aggressive stage manager. <laughs> what? Call a foul? You can prevent foul ball calls by making sure you touch all your bases. Visit us online at CloseCallSports.com, Twitter and Facebook at CloseCallSports. We'll see you on the site.